Are you new to scuba diving and you're thinking about taking up underwater videography? Well then, this video is just for you. Hi there and welcome to the Underwater Filmmaking School. My name is Matthias, thank you very much for tuning in. On this channel we talk about filmmaking, specifically about filming underwater and in today's episode we'll talk about the three skills that you must master before you even think about picking up a camera and starting to film underwater. So you're a newly certified diver and you want to start filming your underwater adventures but before you do you should really think about the three most important skills that you need to develop and practice before you can safely start filming underwater. First and foremost, you should work on your buoyancy skills. And I know you've probably heard this many, many times throughout your open water course and throughout your training, but it is the most important skill in scuba diving, full stop. And it's not just a safety thing that you can stationary hover in a single place. It also makes a huge difference to your footage that you'll be able to collect. Simply by being able to hover stationary in one place, all your shots will get a lot more stable and you'll just end up with much, much nicer footage. Also, being able to hover in one spot and not crash down on the ground or shoot up to the surface, other than being a safety issue and getting you more stable footage, it is also protecting the environment. I've seen many scuba divers that uh, are newly certified and don't have a lot of experience or that haven't dived in a very long time and are a bit rusty on their buoyancy skills and they crash into corals um, and damage the underwater environment just to get that shot and they don't mean to destroy anything in any way but they just don't have the skills to control their movements underwater so please 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 work on your buoyancy skills before you take a camera down there and start filming. Second skill that I recommend you master before you start filming underwater is to actually know your equipment, your scuba diving equipment, and also know how to operate it. Because once you're diving with a camera underwater, your thoughts and your attention will be directed more towards the camera and the shots that you wanna take with the camera. So anything else than the camera and what's happening with the camera should work basically automatically. So you should really be familiar with where all the buttons are on your BCD for example. You should be very familiar with your air consumption and how much air you're using. Um, all that sort of stuff should be basically second nature. And last but not least, the skill number three that I recommend you master before you start filming underwater is to actually know your own camera. And this might sound very obvious to you, but you wouldn't believe how often I find people scuba diving with cameras and they have no clue, for example, how to set um, different modes on their camera, how to change this or that setting underwater. And that's very irritating and will take the fun out of filming underwater very quickly if you don't get the results that you're looking for. Now, it doesn't really matter whether you're diving with a small point and shoot camera, an action camera, a big cinema system, whatever it is, please make yourself familiar with your camera system and also where the buttons are, also on the housing, not just on the camera, um, where you can uh, change different settings and all that sort of stuff way before you get into the water. You're gonna make your life so much easier by having done that beforehand and you'll thank me for this tip afterwards because it's just gonna make filming underwater a lot more fun. So those are the three skills that I recommend you guys to master before you even think about picking up a camera and filming underwater. Now, if you're already filming underwater, I would really be curious to hear what your experiences are with the skills that I mentioned in this video. How did you go about it? Did you actually spend the time practicing and mastering those skills before you started filming? Or were you one of those people who just grabbed the camera, jumped in the water right after their open water course and started taking photos and filming on their dives? 
I would really be interested in hearing what your approach was. So please put your comments down in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to engage in a discussion with you guys about this. Now, if you're looking for tips and tricks on how to improve your filmmaking and your filming underwater, please check out the video I'll link up here. This is a video I created a while ago that gives you eight tips on how you can actually improve your footage and your filming underwater very easily and simply. And that was it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Now, if this video was helpful to you, if you enjoyed it, if it was even a little entertaining, please do hit that like button. You know, it does mean a lot to me. And also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet, so you're not missing out on any future content that will be uploaded here. And we can actually keep growing this community and learning from each other. I'm really enjoying this very much. All right, all is said, time for me to go and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye, see you next week. Do, 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 do.